What is going on everyone? Today we will be checking out what some of the best rappers have to say about the legendary J. Cole. Cole is considered to be amongst the big three of his generation alongside Kendrick Lamar and Drake, and he recently went through a rough time regarding the beef between those two after releasing a diss track to Kendrick entitled 7 Minute Drill and then immediately removing the track and himself from the beef. We have some clips today of rappers talking about J. Cole post beef, but also plenty of clips before the beef. Before the video starts, comment down below your order of the big three. So in this first clip, we're starting off with Kendrick Lamar talking about J. Cole years and years ago following his famous Control verse, where he practically called out all of the top rappers at the time. He discusses with Big Boy the song itself and how he feels about J. Cole. Check it out. And you know, I don't want to go, I mean, it's been already there, but where their cat, like how some cats was like, they wasn't cool with it, others got fired, then people that didn't even have their name in there wanted to have their <laughs> name in there, you know what I'm saying? Where are you at with a lot of the cats now, like the J. Coles of the world or, or yeah. Drake's of the world? Where are you guys at now? Same place, same place. Mm -hmm. It's all love from the that. moment I did the verse to after the verse. You know what I mean? I think hip hop is, is a sport, so you're going to have these little spits and spats. And it's all good because personally, I respect these dudes as, you know, as, as people. You know what I mean? So outside of that, it's really nothing. Specifically, where are you at, like, with the J. Cole? Specifically, where are you at with a Drake or so on and so forth? I respect their music. I like that. For sure. I respect them uh, as individuals and creators. And um, I think what the media tried to do is, 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 is insane because they take these black, you know, young mm -hmm. brothers and really try to clash it and make right. bump heads. And um, that's not right. Right, that's right. That's how I look at it. I think it's not right. And I think that's why it's great to really show people how we support one another because hip-hop was something that wasn't supposed to be here for this long. I'm mm -hmm. sure you know, Big. Yes, sir. And the more we do that, the more they'll try to tear it down. Joey Badass secured a J. Cole feature on his track Legendary off his second album All American Badass, which at the time was super rare. Nowadays, Cole was known for his features and showing up other rappers on their own songs. Listen to Joey talk about what it meant to him to get Cole on that song. Oh, also, J. Cole on the album, man. You, yeah. you got a Cole feature. This is, I know, I right? This wait. don't happen. Th that does not happen, Who bro. got a Cole feature? Besides the um, Jamal one, besides that. Yeah, who I, got know, a, I know. What like, rapper got a Cole yeah, feature? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's real. I'm sorry, I got Greenville cats, of course, the family got. But, I mean, it's not a lot of Cole features yeah. that, that fly out there, man. Damn, yeah, that's man. real. I'm trying to think yeah. right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta big myself up you on know, that. <laughs> oh, this is like one of those songs we can't wait to hear. Word. So, so when the conversation happened, uh, you know, my my homies here was putting me up on the whole story about the false prophet yeah. borrow from your waves track. Mm -hmm. Was you like, no, nah, it's all good, homie. Just just get me later. Is so that, let is that me how that rolls out. Let me explain the story. Okay. All right. So you know, in the summer of. Uh, we in 2017, right? Yeah. yeah. Tw in the summer of 2016, yeah. um, you know, Cole hits me up like, yo, um, you around, I want you to hear something. So I'm thinking, like, he want me to get on the track or okay. something like that. I'm like, yeah, I'm in New York, what's up? Like, right. you know what I mean? I'm hit Cincinnati, I'm near. So, you know, we link up, I come to the studio, we politicking, and then he like, uh, I want to play you this record. <laughs> Right, so I'm like, okay, I'm still thinking it's like a, a track for me to hop right, on and shit. Yeah, stuff. right. So before he plays me the record, okay. he break he goes down into like the whole breakdown of the record, why he did it, and this is before I even know that you know what it is. Okay, so you know what I'm saying? He's giving you the theme of the whole record. Before. He's no, no, he's not even giving me the theme. He's giving me the reason why he even came to writing to that record. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So he was like, he wrote it at a time of his life where like you know. He he was home off tour, like he finally, basically like where I'm at now, like he finally got to back to doing the things that he used to do, right. which just made him happy, like sitting on the couch watching Netflix <laughs> or going on YouTube and just browsing beats. Right, okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So one day he was writing and, and he and, and he resorted to his old way of writing, which was you know going on YouTube and writing to beats, yeah, you know, which right, is yeah. what most of us do. Yeah. So he comes across the waves beat Crazy. and he's like, yo, like you know, he knew it was mine and everything, but like he heard the beat and it was just like you know it was sparked speaking, something. it sparked something. Yeah. So he was he kept writing, he kept writing, and then you know he wrote what was false prophets, hey, and wow. then you know when he had it, he was like, yo, I gotta lay this shit down. Right. But you know after he laid it down, I guess he was like, yo, I gotta get Joey's blessing on it, which is dope. Okay. Which is you know the, the right reason thing. why I was there in the studio that day. So he was like, look, so 
I want to play you this record because basically I just want your blessing on it. Crazy. And then wow. he played me that, and I was like, wow, like, damn, like, he rapping on my beat That's and lit. shit. And, you know, asking me for my blessing. I'm like, yeah, bro, like, for sure. Right. But, like, you know, to be honest, I didn't know it was going to be, like, um, I didn't know it was going to be, like, promoting the album. And, like, right. you know, the singer. I didn't know it was going to be on the radio every yeah, day yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, Yo, that, yeah. that shit is weird, bro. I'm riding through my city. <laughs> right. I hear this shit come on. I'm like, oh, they about to play my... Nobody used to tell you used to be like this. <laughs> I'm like... Right. I'm, like oh, shit. I'm like, you know what? I got my features all good. Yeah. That's what held me down. Like, everybody was like, yo, you going to let them steal your beat and shit? I'm like, look, y'all don't know that. Right. Y'all don't, yeah, don't, don't know. Y'all don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, and this is way before he even laid the verse for me, you know what I mean? So, I already knew off of the strength of that, it was he was going to come through with for the sure. verse, you know what I mean? So, which he did, he actually sent me the verse the day before his album came out. Wow. wow. Yeah. And, like, he was telling me for a minute, he was like, yo, like, you the only person I got on my feature list. Like, I got you. I'm going to make it happen. Just just wait. Like, I got to, you know, finish my album and shit. And he literally sent the shit the day before his album came wow. out. Bro, yeah. what's that? What's I mean, That's what? Crazy. So, does he shoot you a text like, yo, check your email? <laughs> <laughs> like, what happens when you get that verse? Um... I'm trying to remember. He might have just sent sent it because you know you could send the MP3 to the text. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he might have just song. did that. Yeah, but he sent it. And I'm yeah. just like, oh, it's lit. It's it's lit. That's dope. Yeah, That's I crazy. think I was with the homies. I was like, we got Ooh, the cold verse. We got it. We got it. <laughs> like, we what can I say? Them, them cold vocals get here yet? <laughs> <laughs> them cold vocals come in yeah. yet? It's, it's happening. Yeah. It ain't top secret. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's dope. Oh, and I would like to say that Static Selector produced that joint. Yeah, so. Eminem is obviously one of the greatest rappers of all time, so when he praises another lyricist, you know they're special. He talks about some of the newer rappers in this clip, including J. Cole, and how impressive they truly are. It's a new era, man. Like, I always wanted to know, like, what's your perspective on people with longevity such as yourself adjusting to the new era of, of hip hop? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's, you know, that's another one of the things that make it fun, too, is like being able to watch, like, Cole and Kendrick come mm. up and seeing how how great they were right off the bat mm. and it's it's like you start like i i mean aside from them like i pay i pay attention to everything that's going on you know what i'm saying like right. all the new shit i try to stay up on you know uh who's doing what flow patterns that kind of shit because it's always interest it interesting to me like the baby like i never know where his Rhymes are going to land. Right. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. that shit is so interesting to me because he does it so well. It's the same thing with you and Royce. It's like, I don't I don't really know where this is going to go. And and when I get on a song with with you or him, I know what I'm going to get in the sense of the bar it's going to be. But I don't mm -hmm. know what I'm going to get. What for, what style, what you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. I don't know. I can't predict. Right. A flow pattern, I can't never yeah. predict anything. It's the same thing if I get on a, getting on a track with Kendrick. I can never tell what the fuck he's going to do. Right. Because he is such a chameleon of styles and he can fucking do any, pretty much anything, right? right. And, he's, and he's so proficient at it. He's so good at it. And you don't know what you're going to get. That to me is like a top tier lyricist because it's like, you don't, you can get your ass kicked any day. You know what I'm saying? Like certain rappers get on a certain song and it's like, it just depends on. Yeah. Just, I saw some dude. Uh, I don't remember where I even seen this, what show it was on, like what site it was on or whatever. Some dude was trying to trash J, J. Cole about Middle Child and was saying, oh, it just fell off at the end. It was like, and I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I can't take you serious. You critique that. Right, right. And then it's like sometimes you'll be like, yo, but you listen to that and then you say this is trash like right. that, that I, I can't respect your opinion. I, I can't. Yeah, they're, they're probably the ones responsible for these top 50 lists that go around like people like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I mean, I, and I know it's your opinion, but your opinion's wrong. For, for sure. Yeah. 100. Um, speaking of top list, dog, um, is your top nine that you named on till I collapse still the same yes and no 
Yes, because, well, it, what's happened since then is like 20 years of what happened. Right, you know what right, right, so right. it's like, as rap evolves, you might get, there's a lot, you know, like I said, you got to put Cole and, and Kendrick on that list, man, because, and Joyner, because those are guys who really, who really care about the craft. And it's kind of like, if you want to know why that sounds so good to you and you're not really sure, mm -hmm. do you know what I'm saying? Like, like that, that's like when, when, when we're telling you that these people are so good at what they do, right? These rappers, right? When we're telling you that you can, it's coming from somewhere where we know what it takes to put that in, into the Absolutely. Pen. You know what I'm saying? It's coming from a place of experience. We know. Drake and J. Cole went on tour together this year in 2024 before all this Kendrick beef and have been known to have a close relationship for years now. Check out what Drake had to say at one of the shows about Cole and how great he thinks he is. You are genuinely, without a doubt, one of the greatest rappers to ever touch a And I want to let you know, it's way too many people in the world that think and know that J. Cole is at top on the pole position for a long time. I love you all the time. You're my brother, one of my favorite artists, and I always appreciate you having me on here. I'm so excited. Summer Walker is a super talented artist and released an amazing song with J. Cole last year entitled To Summer From Cole, parentheses audio hug, where he basically raps a verse to her and sings her praises. Listen to what she has to say about how the song came about and what the song really meant to her. So we got a song called Audio Hug. I had asked him to do a song. He didn't really get time to do it. He wanted to meet and I was so fucking pregnant that I was just like, oh my God, I can't like, I don't know if you've seen them damn pictures. I was like 200 pounds. My ankles were like this huge and mm -hmm. crazy. So we didn't meet, but he ended up sending me something called Audio Hug. And he was just like, it's so sweet. I cried when I heard it. He was just like being hella sweet and just saying he sees all the shit that I went through. Mm -hmm. And if I ever need to call him for anything, call him. It was just cool. So we didn't meet in the studio because I don't even like working like that. But we met at Dreamville, which that festival was awesome. That shit was cool. And then we went to Dave and Buster's afterwards, and that's when we got to chop it up. And we had a good time. He got his ass whooping basketball. <laughs> Bia is a rapper who has collaborated with Cole on the song London in 2022. Here's what she has to say about J. Cole in the process of making that specific track. Tell me the story on how, because uh, you've told it before, but like the London record is one of my favorite joints you put out. You did a great job on that record. Thank you. Yeah, it was. A, you. I fucking played the fuck out of it on the radio. Thank you. Uh, but how does Cole end up on that particular song where you're doing the whole London thing? It's crazy because uh, we went to the studio to go meet Cole for a whole completely different song. And um, before we were on our way out, I was like, hey, can I play you something? Like, I'm, you know, I'm working on my project. I want to play this song. And he's like, yeah, go ahead. I, I press play. And he loved the song. He's like, I love this song. This is good. Like, um, I was like, okay, you know what? That's like, he just seemed like he really liked the song and I wanted to send it to him like some random day. So like two weeks later, I think a, a month later, I sent it to him and I was like, hey, just sending you this if you want to listen to it. Yeah, if you <laughs> want to check it out, since you said you liked it, since you, you said you liked it, it, you listen to it in your car, on your bike ride, you at know. the gym, right. like whatever you want. And um, yeah, it just ended up working out like that. Like he ended up liking the song enough that he wanted to put a verse on it. And I was so happy about that because... Like, look at that verse. It's like one of my favorite verses of all time. Oh, he killed it. He got off on How that How could I shit. choose between this one and that one? I can have both. Oh, my God. He got off. He did not give you the throwaway Cole verse. You I don't think he has crazy? those, by the way. I feel like every he time he gets it. on some shit, he bodies it. He does. And I honestly wanted to... I was like, yo, I'm going to go... Because when I first cut the record, London, it was like a vibey, fun record. Sure. Like, me and Aziz, we just have fun. Like, mm -hmm. if you know us, we go to the studio and we just try to have a good time. So... We weren't over. We don't really try to overthink anything or try to make a, a hit or try to make a certain type of record. We just catch a vibe. So I wasn't overthinking or like pushing my pen to the to the bars, or like expecting to get J Cole on that song. So when he put his verse on it, I'm like, I'm gonna go redo my verse. They're like, he's like, no, no, no. They wouldn't. They told me not to. They You're wouldn't not let me do it. Yeah, that's kind of like a you know, cheating. But like, yeah. I was like, bro, I, who who thinks when they cut like a random reference that Cole's gonna be on that song? Yeah, it's crazy. I think that's against like un unsaid rap rules too. Like I, if you send a record in with your verse and then it comes out and your verse is way different, it's fine. 
I think that I think that might have been the root of the whole like cannabis LL thing back. But in the day. I didn't do it because I didn't want to change the the essence and the energy because you know it's some songs yeah. they got that a certain like energy to him fat joe is a legend in the rap game and has been in many beefs himself so he definitely had a lot to say about j cole's decision to exit the kendrick beef early let me know if you agree with what he says in this clip down below in the comments do you think do you think hip-hop's changing slightly when you look at like j cole apologizing after uh you know he got involved in the beef and then he stepped back and he actually said oh you know what i was being an old version of me that's not me no, anymore. I, love, I don't know if you saw that video. I love, well, me, you yeah. know, the biggest thing is just yesterday, you know, I had one of the biggest, most dangerous rap beefs with 50 Cent. I was sitting next to him uh, in the game the, yesterday. Yeah, the game in the next Having game. the best time in the world. We're brothers. Um, yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah. But when you call down in hip hop, you got to respond. <laughs> and so I'm a big fan of J, J. Cole, but it yeah. started from that. So I see he probably saw that they could get real messy and real ugly. And so he said, yo, you know what? This ain't me. I don't want no parts of it. But he definitely got a stripe off his, you know, whatever. He's a sergeant or whatever he is. The, the corporal, they took a stripe off for that. Because in hip hop, they call you out, you come out. You know, that's just what it is. That's the sport. That's the sport. Yeah. You got to come out. And a guy like him, he was, he was, you know, he was a king. Yeah, he's so talented. You know, he's, he's so talented. He's a king. So it was like, wow, Cole, you did that? And, but I get it. I get all scenarios. Yeah. He was mature enough to think past the lyrical beef and say, yo, this might turn physical. Yeah. And also it felt like he, he was kind of like, that's just not the energy he wants to play in anymore. Like That's just not. I'm not mad at yeah. him. Yeah. But yeah. I'm just saying from a real hip hop artist, you know, you know, I've been called out and I got to step up. Even if I think the artist is a million times better than me, mm. you know, it's crazy because I remember one time a, a funny uh, battle was uh, Everlast. You remember? I jump yeah. around. Yeah, him yeah. and Eminem. And Eminem, I think, called the out, but he came out. Like, Everlast said his rhyme. It was incredible. Oh, wow. And he moved. You know, you got to come out. You, you, you know, hip-hop, you talking all this. Somebody calls you out. You got to step out. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, okay, so, interesting. So the sport is the sport. So I love J. And Cole. The, yeah, yeah. I'm a huge fan. Of him, I get it from a mature standpoint, but also, you know, hip hop, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta bring the sword out when it's time. Got it. That's what it's about. Thank you all for watching this video. Please let me know down below which rapper you would like to see featured next. Make sure to like the video and subscribe as we're getting close to 100,000 subscribers. Peace out, guys.